guys so I am 29 weeks and three days today let me in advance apologize for this I was going to record this video yesterday but I ended up studying for finals all day and I didn't get a chance to do it but the good news is I am 100% done with my finals so that is awesome and I am taking next semester off because I'm due right in the middle of it. the spring semester goes from January to either the end of April or beginning of May and I'm due the end of February so it's like literally smack dab in the middle so I'm not going to take any classes next semester but I'll probably go back for the summer semester and if not then for sure next um, fall semester because I have very very few classes left I just want to get them out of the way and just like be done with it already so like I said I've had a lot of finals so I'm sorry for missing last week again but that should be my last excuse for this pregnancy and I should be able to get um, to hit every uh, pregnancy update after this. I'm crossing my fingers and I really hope I'm not just like setting myself up. So this week I have officially gained 20 pounds um, since the beginning of my pregnancy or from my pre-pregnancy weight. So I am at 155. I am just feeling huger than ever. I'm officially feeling like massive. Landon should be about two and a half pounds now. Um, and that's just like insane. And I think it said he's supposed to be around, obviously they're all different, but around like 15 inches. And that's crazy because that's like so close to how long they are at birth. So it's weird because like he's basically just like developed. He just has to like get a whole bunch of fat on him now. So it's really exciting because I'm like so close and I'm almost in that home stretch. Kind of weird. I had a dream that he looked like Kaisen. And this was just a totally random dream, but I had a dream that I had him and I was like holding him and he looked exactly like Kaisen, which is so weird because he, all of his ultrasound pictures look um, very similar to Kaden. So I am so excited to see what he's going to look like. I just want to know like all of his features and like what color hair, what color eyes. Like I'm just so excited to just meet him already. I just want him to be here and I'm just going to let him cook a little bit longer and then it'll be time. So I, I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last video or if I was going to mention it last week and I didn't get a chance to, but I was talking about how I never felt him have the hiccups and I feel him have the hiccups daily now, like literally daily. And it's funny because right when I said that in my video, like all of a sudden he started having the hiccups like all the time. So he gets them every single day around this time actually, so he'll probably get them pretty soon. But it's usually around like 2.30 or 3 he'll get them. And then um, oftentimes at night he'll get them again. So it's so cute. Also this week I've been having heartburn like crazy so maybe Landon will have hair I don't know if that's a myth or not but maybe he'll he'll be having lots of hair because I've had a ton of heartburn and another just like side note that I've noticed this week um, it was more so last week than this week because this week I don't think he's actually done it yet but um last week Caden started picking up on nursing again um, more than he was because if you've been following me for a while, then you know my milk completely just was gone. Like, I don't know. It was very early in my pregnancy. Like, Kyson stopped nursing almost right away um, when I found out I was pregnant. And Caden has been nursing still this whole pregnancy, but he got to a point this last, like, month or so where he would nurse only, like, two or three times a week. So um, this last week, he nursed, like, uh, like several days in a row and he asked for it and he wanted it so I'm wondering if maybe my colostrum came in and he likes the taste of it like I don't know I really don't know but these past few days actually he hasn't nursed again so um I know that I still don't have any milk at all like there's n there's nothing in there um but as far as colostrum maybe I am producing colostrum now and maybe that's why he's more interested but he just suddenly has had like a desire for nursing again so I have mentioned throughout my whole pregnancy that he is just insane and he never stops moving but now it's getting to a point where like other people are noticing <laughs> for example um when Drake and I lay in bed I'll be facing outside so like my stomach isn't touching him or whatever but sometimes we'll turn the other way and I'll use him as a body pillow and like put my leg on top of him and so my stomach is like touching his back and Landon will start like kicking him really hard and Drake's like oh oh that feels so weird stop doing that <laughs> so he doesn't like when I lay that way because he's just so crazy and he literally moves all night long all day too like he just he never stops moving it seems like he never he just never stops moving so yeah he's gonna be one crazy kid so the last thing that I want to talk about is after he is born um, if you've been following me for a while then you know that I usually do uh, like the week of life updates like for Lilia I did um, her first week of life and her second week of life and her third week of life and then with the twins I did their first second third like all of their week of lives so this time I don't know I was gonna ask you guys what you guys wanted to see from 
me because I obviously record daily and I, I'm getting to a point where I record so much um, that I don't include it all in my videos because I feel like it's overwhelming like it seems like it'd be boring to watch someone's life like every single second so I try to just put like the exciting parts in there I was wondering what you guys would like to see if you wanted me to do the week of life videos it's just kind of weird to title it that now because before I would just throw in Lilia's footage into the twins week of life but now I have like He's my fourth kid, so it's going to be like just Landon's week of life, but still going to have all the kids in it. So um, I was thinking of maybe doing a day in the life once a week because I've had several, several suggestions to do daily vlogs. But to be honest, I just can't keep up with daily vlogs. I just, I can't, I couldn't physically record every single day, um, everything that I do every day. And I would love to do it, but I just, there's no way I'll have time to do it. So I was thinking maybe doing like a daily vlog type thing, but only once a week. So tell me what you guys think about that idea. I watched a good amount of people on YouTube and there are several of them that I really, really love and I just love their family, love everything about them. And when they started doing daily vlogs, I feel like I can't keep up with them anymore and I just don't have the time to sit and watch their videos. So I don't know, tell me what you guys think. Is it just because I am like a busy person and I just, I don't know, I just, I, there are so many people that I absolutely love watching and ever since I started doing daily vlogs, I can't watch them anymore because I just can't keep up. I mean, I'll watch them like here and there, but I feel like I'm missing out a lot. So I feel like, um, like a daily vlog, a day in the life vlog once a week would be a good compromise. And of course I would do a video like twice a month or something where it just had like random cute footage. So it would be the week of life type videos, um, but maybe like in two week increments and just have those so I don't know give me your guys suggestions what do you guys want to see from me just let me know because I obviously want to share every single milestone and everything of Landon's with you guys so I'm sure you'll be saying all of that but I don't know if I should just do that in addition to um, like a daily vlog type thing like a once a week daily vlog or if I should just do that so I don't know let me know what you guys want to see so that is pretty much all this week I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 29 week belly all right so I am wearing Drake sweater today because frankly I don't have anything that fits comfortably. So here's with the shirt on. Sorry, I have like milk all over me. And here's with the shirt up. Oh, I just feel huge. All right, so I am at about 41 now. So I am getting really big. All right, so I'm pretty sure that's it for this week. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Oh, and the other thing I was gonna mention is stretch marks. I've gotten lots of questions about if I've gotten any more stretch marks. And I haven't gotten any more, but I had like three million with the twins. And so they're just like um, getting, they're, like I could see my stretch marks like stretching out to the way that they looked when I was pregnant with the twins. So I don't know if I'm gonna get any more. I might, but I don't know. I was so big with the twins. I don't know if it's possible for my skin to like stretch anymore so I will let you guys know if I get any more but um, as of right now I haven't gotten any in addition to what I got with the twins and I just got one with Lilia and I have been using coconut oil on my stomach every single day um, I try to do it twice a day uh, but coconut oil I wish I discovered this stuff like a long time ago but co coconut oil is just amazing you should just like research it and see all the different things that it's good for because it's like freaking amazing. Anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I will talk to you guys for week 30. Bye. I don't remember what I was saying. You want me to wear these? Okay. Hi. Don't touch that. <laughs> Are you cutting me? <laughs> Why? Is this like a faulty one? There's nowhere to put the straw. <laughs>